Hello my beauties and so this week's Masculine Feminine Unconditional Love reading is all about the narratives and the stories that can play out in separation and what they really mean and how we can allow ourselves to allow life to use us um, and the narratives that play out without suffering and so if you would like to check that out it's available over on Vimeo if not here is the roomie thank you for being here I love you very very much Thank you for all your help and support and for being you. Lots of love. Hello, my beauties. So good to see you and so good to read and select and welcome you to the Rumi message, the Rumi love message for you this week. With a little glimpse of the weekly cards over on Vimeo. The link to that's below. But this is for, I mean, look how beautiful that card is. It's just stunning. I'm kind of in love with this little montage of colour here. And I want to just tell you how much I love and appreciate you and your energy and your eyes and your focus and your love here with me now and it's just a pleasure to read this for you so thank you very much and so i shall number 27 the angel rasbar it's a new one for me i really get quite excited when a new one comes out so let's have a read take a deep breath Allow these words and this energy and my voice to move through you. Allow yourself to be moved and used and, um, and loved by, by this energy. Tell me the truth, I asked love. What are you? I am the everlasting life, love said. I am the recurring joy of living. The master speaks of a den of riches where many precious jewels can be found. In abundance they lie, patient and yet ready to be claimed. Go scoop them up, urges the master. The devoted ones look but cannot see. Where are these precious jewels, they cry, for we cannot find them anywhere. The master gazes lovingly at the devoted ones and responds kindly. In service, my beloved, you shall find the jewels through service. For what is the soul but the finest and most precious of heavenly jewels? What is service but the scooping up of the soul that it does not lie lost nor unclaimed, but instead honored for all its precious worth and beauty, tended to until it becomes vibrant as a flawless ruby, radiant with the joy of living. Divine contribution is offered to those who wish to contribute to the world. The great beloved sees what is in your heart, what it is you wish to offer and is saying yes. So you are being empowered to serve, to assist, to offer a genuine spiritual contribution to this planet, to become a sacred hand at work for the will of heaven. Such is the capacity bestowed upon the soul that is wise and filled with love and therefore desiring to serve. So then, do not doubt yourself, beloved. You have been blessed with this by the master to find the precious jewel of your own soul and claim it. Cast aside your doubts then. Yet perhaps this is not easy for you to do. Perhaps you look at the world, even your chosen field of endeavor, and already you hear so many voices speaking. You may wonder if your own contribution would simply add noise to the cacophony. You may wonder if you can really help, if you have anything genuine to add, 
or if there is just too much noise anyway. You may hesitate and become fearful. Do not despair, my beloved. It is part of your divine destiny to add something of great value to the world, something that has its place even amongst all the activity, something needed absolutely in the hearts of all. That precious gift is the true silence. The true silence is peace. It is the living experience of the eternal love of the divine that asks nothing but to be received and gives of itself unconditionally. That silence is present underneath even the most raucous noise. If one knows how to access it, the true silence can only be felt through the beautiful feeling heart. When you know how to feel for it, to surrender into it, you can transmit silence in many ways through the peace you cultivate in your heart, in your own daily living, through your presence, through your art, even through your voice written, sung or spoken. Yes, even though sound, yes, even through sound, if that is your path of service. Silence can emanate through your voice and divine silence can be felt in the hearts of others. The true and great silence, as you may now realize, my dear angel, is not the absence of sound. It is the experience of the divine presence of love. So shall you trust in the wisdom of the master who bids you to serve, to serve according to the graces you have been given? Will you choose to put aside your doubts and instead believe in yourself and the power of divine love it will reach out to the world through your willing soul. Yes, I knew your brave heart would accept this empowerment. I knew you wanted to serve more than you wanted to fear. Whatever is in your heart is the method by which the great jewels shall be collected. The master teaches us that we are built to serve according to a higher perfection. So if to dance is in your heart, then dance, be open and free. Do not hide, dance. If prayer is in your heart, then pray. If you can feed the poor with food, if you can give the despairing kindness, the lost, your words, and those who have turned away from the great master a healing touch, then do so. Do so without doubt, without having to be the best or the greatest, or any other notion your mind conjures, just be willing. Willingness, not perfection, is required from you, so then there is room for freedom to awaken in you. Willingness opens you to divine assistance, and through that empowerment, an even greater joy of being will grow within your sacred heart. Your service can flow from simply being yourself in the world completely and utterly. Your radiance can become one of the sacred candles of the Holy Master. There are many candles that hold the Master's light, and yet each of them is precious beyond compare. Be such a light. Scoop up the jewels through your service and do not render yourself incapable through nightmares of false imaginings and smallness of mind. Yes, your heart is too big for your mind and it will break it open, but that is okay. Do you think you only serve love and are not also served by love? The helpers are always helped. This is love's way. Do you feel as though you are a foreigner in this land? Ah, Angel Rasbar shall show you the way then. For she knows you from a long, long time ago, though you might have temporarily forgotten the acquaintance. She is a great hostess and guide in this terrain of divine love, and she remembers you. You who are great of heart and capable of contribution. You who are now signing up for service in the great work of love. Yes, there is work for you to do. Your purpose is bestowed, serve, assist, do not hold back for any reason. Not one reason you could imagine is worthy of you. So then aliveness, so then service, so then joy. Help and be helped. That is the way for you now. This oracle comes to you with guidance. You are being guided deeper into your life purpose and divine destiny. Like a maturing adult who is ready to take on the mantle of a greater responsibility, your soul is stepping up. 
You are going through a process of assuming more spiritual responsibility for the honest and empowered expression of your own essence. And through that, your healing presence in the world is increasing. You are stepping up and forward on your path. This is appropriate now. It will make you more than visible. It will make you more visible, but this is as it should be. It is not about being worth more than another. It is about the utterly sensible use of a light, that it not be dampened down by a shade, but instead be placed where it can cast its fullness so that others, still in darkness, may find their way more easily. This is efficient, intelligent and sensible. Your success and growth is drenched in compassion and brings joy to the heart of the master as another and another find their way, benefiting from the light of your being. So shine true, be humble, not dismissive of your gifts. Allow others to find their way more easily because you choose to honour the power of the great silence that emanates through you ever more as you trust and surrender. This oracle brings special messages of reassurance that you are not making progress and are in, that you are making progress and are indeed on the right path. Although it may not unfold exactly as you anticipate, it will indeed unfold. You are making a positive impact in the world, more than you consciously realize, and you are asked therefore to continue. Do not give up. Do not turn back. Just continue. Take your steps your journey and know that the great master is aware of you and descending the holy ones including that wise ancient mother angel rasbar to bring you the blessing of the true silence now let it clear and soothe your mind and heart and help you remember the peace that dwells within you all is well Listen as I say. I am blessed to serve the great, all-loving silence through the presence of divine joy, grace and radiant compassion, through the master that loves me without condition and the blessed assistance of Angel Rasbar who loves me unconditionally. I accept all help and I offer myself completely in service to life, to being and to assist humanity in a practical way, according to the graces and talents I have been given. So be it. And so, yes, for me, this is the journey. This is the path. This is why we're here. I personally feel a great affinity to this. I will share that. 27 is a very powerful number for me. And it makes absolute sense to me, this message, and it's a very powerful message for all of you here. I love you very much. If you do want to see the full masculine feminine goings on this week, it's over on um, the Vimeo link. If not, you definitely got what you needed here. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for, for allowing me to, to share and be of service to you. Thank you for all those you are of service to. We are all one. We are all this, that spectrum of rainbow light in all of our colours. I love you very much. The monthly is going to be up in the next few days. So keep an eye out for that. Full monthly masculine feminine reading. Until then, love you, love them, love us. See you again very soon.